April 24th and in the front range of Colorado scouting for some wild turkey. We'll see if I can't uh, find any signs or hopefully locate a roost or hear any gobbles tonight. If so, we'll come back early in the morning. I do have my gun along with me just in case, but not really expecting to see any birds. Just hoping to do some scouting and see if I can see some sign and check out this new area. The area I always used to turkey hunt is closed down still from the fires. Um, all indications they're going to close it down for a whole entire year. So, a lot of snow up here. Not sure the turkeys have moved up this high yet, but we'll go take a look. little creek down here in the bottom a little bit of open fields over there where grass is starting to grow looks like a good turkey area haven't seen any sign yet that hill I just came off of was crazy steep about a foot of snow on the north side south side pretty well melted off we'll take a look see if we can't see any sign across the creek over here Here's the field on the other side of the stream. Not seeing any turkey sign just yet, but nice and green. Usually places that I've called in turkeys look a lot like this. I forgot to mention, I'm also kind of killing two birds with one stone because I've got a brand new pair of hunting boots I'm trying to break in. I've worn them on and off maybe seven days. so. Figured no better time to break them in on a short little scouting hunt. So they're rocky bear claws. Big old steep tread on those suckers. Helped a lot coming off that hill because video camera never does it justice. But that hill was a good 50 degree angle. Had to grab on the trees coming down in the snow. So. We'll head up this side, take a look a little, little around, get up on top of this peak, glass down the other ridge, see if we can't pick up any sign in this oak brush. It's always so cool in the springtime when all these little temporary creeks form from all the runoff. It's starting to turn green up here. A lot of deer and elk sign. I haven't seen one bit of turkey sign yet. We'll keep pushing on. Finally found what we're looking for. There are turkeys in here. Sweet. We'll follow these tracks for a little while and see where they lead us. This oak brush is an absolute jungle to come through. You could hide a thousand elk and a million turkeys in this. Look how thick this is. You can see where the turkey's been scratching around, feeding through all those leaves up on top of the snow. This snow's about two days old. So this is pretty fresh. This is a good sign, they're up in here. It's hard to follow a turkey. It's not like following elk or deer. They can go through the thickest stuff. But I kinda wanna follow his tracks and see if I can't find a roost somewhere. Let's see how long I can follow them. There's some pretty fresh bear tracks right there. Old Yogi come walking through here turkey right next to him. Turkey and bear tracks right on top of each other. Our turkey feeding sign right there. Turkey track. Turkey scrapes. I'm liking what I'm seeing. All my e-scouting is paying off right now. 
pretty warm. I had to shed a layer. It's uh, in the 60s today. Finally starting to feel like spring. Not much of a spring in Colorado. It just kind of goes from snow to hot. Starting to find some older tracks now too. That's perfect. Old and fresh. Means they're probably staying in here, so that's a great sign. This little area might just turn out to be a good little turkey spot. I've been hiking back in here for about three hours. Cut across some fresh tracks, some old tracks. I think I'll come back first thing in the morning. A couple shot calls, see if we can hear some gobbles and keep zeroing in on these birds. But today was pretty encouraging. I think this spot might hold some promise. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. But somehow, in some way, it's an elk crossing the street in front of us this morning. It's like a nice bull. Big old bull. Alright, we're back. Here in the morning. Just now shooting light. Saw a bunch of elk on the way in. Looks like I got one other hunter in here. I'll go see what we can see. Just watching, walking this uh, creek bottom. Snow is really noisy though. Just trying to go real slow. See if I can't see some birds or hear something. I'd love to find a roost. Keep my eyes peeled. Beautiful morning. Made it to the other side. Um, when I crossed the creek, I bumped another hunter. I felt bad. His camouflage was working great. I never saw him. I think I got about 100 yards away from him and I saw him move. So, trying to work my way up this ridge and get away from him. Haven't cut a lot of new turkey tracks today, but it still looks like a good area. Really thick, super steep push up on this top of this ridge and call over into the next canyon and see if we can hear any gobbles. Nice view up here on top. Still no gobbles. some elk. A bunch of crows just went off and I finally heard my first gobble 8.30 a.m. There goes another one. Sounds like they're coming from private, of course. I just sat down to have a morning snack. We'll keep listening. Well, I made it over to where the gobbles were coming from. They are on private, but there was a nice park and national forest right above it. 
thought that'd be a good place to set up. Of course, I get 200 yards away from the park, and I hear a hunter down there calling. So, learning about the area, that might be a good spot for me to come back and come in way early in the morning. Today's April 30th. Going into a different area this morning. We'll go see if we can turn up any gobbles. way to start right out of the parking lot. I couldn't see any beard on that bird. That was a jake. That's the world's smallest jake. So good way to start though. Back in here about two miles. Right up in front of me is the point that I was looking at on Google Earth and on Onyx that I wanted to go set this morning. So we'll head up there and do some calling. Hopefully hear some gobbles. truck. It's a beautiful morning though. Back of the truck. I think I heard one hen cluck one time. Never heard any gobbles. So I don't know. Maybe I'll try this area another day, but this morning not very productive. Well uh my <clears throat> cousin Dale's gonna join me tonight. And we're going to go out first thing early in the morning to decide which place we want to go to. But uh, hopefully we'll have some more success in the morning. first back in the woods this time Dale's with me walking down the trail trying to do some locates see what we can find today
play with us today. Not one response. Well, we're just gonna keep moving. There's a lot of trails in this area. If we cover some more ground, maybe we'll get one that'll answer us. Uh-uh. This goes down here and across the creek and it goes up the draw on the top of that hill. About another quarter mile. Let's check it out. where a little tornado came through. The tops of all these trees are gone. Seen some turkey tracks. A little bit of turkey scratch in here. So we know they're in here. Just gotta get them to start talking. The hunting is slow, but the hike's been nice. The sun's coming out. And I'm drinking the coffee that Josh graciously gave me this morning. So, it's better than a day at work, right? Absolutely. Had a nice break. Rested our legs a little bit. Looking at the map. Trying to decide which way we want to go. The trail loops back around, but... It drops off 400 feet and it comes back up 1,500 feet, so it's uphill all the way, all the way to 8,000 foot peak. I kind of feel like turkeys aren't going to necessarily be at the top of the highest mountain around here. So we're thinking about maybe just backtracking where we came from and hoping something's crossed through. There's a lot of really good parks down there where typically you see turkeys out feeding, so maybe we'll bump into one or get lucky and hear one in the distance, but nice day day beautiful weather it's supposed to get 80 down in Denver so I'm guessing it's getting in the 70s up here not much more you can ask for on an early May morning so we'll go see what we can find on the way back books for hunting in Colorado. The turkey, we've seen some sign, seen some scrapes, some tracks, some droppings, and now the hikers are moving in. So we're just going to head on out. Better luck next time.